I have a little bit of your time today? Of course. Let's set the timer for two minutes and 22 seconds, please. Okay. How long have you worked at the Academy? I've worked at the Academy since February of 2018. Where did you grow up? When I was a little kid, I lived in Vermont, New Hampshire. We, I went to high school in a place called Taunton, Massachusetts. And I moved to Connecticut when we had our first daughter in 2004. Are you a morning person or a night owl? Night. I do not love mornings. How many children and what ages? I have three children. I have an 18-year-old daughter. I have a sophomore son and I have an 11-year-old son. Okay, different question. How many children call you mom? Quite a few. <laughs> one special uh, one is my Stephanie and she is going to college in Tampa and she's become my second daughter and we met her here. What's the toughest thing about being a mom? Being a dorm mom, the hardest thing is loving them so much and then they leave. What's the greatest thing about being a mom? <laughs> uh, the greatest thing is just watching who they become. How do you help new students adjust to living on campus, especially if it's their first time in the U.S.? You just really have to love them and take care of them and know that they miss their family. And it's super important to be that for them and be what they need in the moment. Coffee or tea? Coffee. What were you like in high school? I was a cheerleader, went to a vocational school, so I was a chef sometimes and a student sometimes. Is there a food you've been introduced to from our international students that you've come to love or that you cook on your own now? Kimchi. How many birthday parties do you plan every year? If I'm only considering a wing of kids, it would probably be anywhere between eight and 18, depending on how big your wing of kids is, but we do a lot of them Lots here. Of <laughs> the school calendar is chock full of fun events. What's your favorite one? I really think I love the uh, Res Life Olympics. It's the first thing we do with the kids and it's a lot of fun. Nice. Our students <laughs> give us so much to be proud of. When's a recent time you felt a burst of pride in one of our students? I just had a student come into my office yesterday and tell me that he is um, fully cleared medically to play sports in college. So he's very excited. What's the nicest thing a student has ever said to you? I love you. You work through the summer, but we'll hopefully get some downtime. What are your summer plans? We love Cape Cod. My husband uh, grew up there. I grew up going there every summer as a kid, and we have family there, so we bring our kids there, and we spend a lot of time down there. Okay, how are we doing, by the way? I feel like we should have gone on Two, no, we're good. Oh. Two minutes, 17 seconds, sorry. No, that's okay. Oh my God, that's two hours and 17 minutes. <laughs> We've been going for over three minutes. Should I just hit the make it do the timer sound? No. Like, man, this is like, oh, so why is it going off? That's okay. We can also just laugh at the mistake too. We because could. Like, this is the last one of the year. Uh, just do like a one second timer. And that's time. All right. Well, thank you for your time, Betty. You're very welcome. Have a great summer.